So 2012 is an exciting time for NFC. We're starting to see a lot of OEMs begin to ship products. We're starting to see a lot of country by country deployments. We're really at the early era of what developers can do with this technology. So we're looking forward to a great couple years ahead and a lot of great user experiences for consumers. Near Field Communications, or NFC, allows smartphones to communicate with objects via radio when in very close proximity to one another. Included in most new mobile phones, NFC apps enable things like touch mobile payments, data exchange, location-based tagging, and much more. This here is a V&A vending machine, which currently is live. You can see this in use in Westfield Shopping Centre in London. It works on a contactless payment solution, where we present the contactless element in the NFC enabled SIM in the phone. So just to demonstrate this to you, we're going to get a free cuddly toy out of our machine. So we have our handset, which is NFC enabled with the NFC SIM. We select go. We make a selection as we normally would for the goods that we want to buy. We then present to the contactless element within the vending machine itself. It's authorized the payment. And now as you can see, we receive our goods. You don't need cash. You don't need to try and find change. You can just make the payment through your handset, which is a completely secure way of paying. We also notice behind the, uh, the terminal itself is a little sign that talks about Google Wallet. So for consumers not familiar with Google Wallet, they might tap this sign and go to a website to learn more about it. Um, so it utilizes NFC technology, which is short for Near Field Communications Technology. Um, it's a short range RFID technology that allows the application to communicate with contactless payment terminals. So the basic goal behind the product is essentially to virtualize the contents of your physical wallet. So think about the plastic cards that you have and the paper coupons. Those point of sale type applications, ticketing applications, um, are seen as a, a, a key driver of NFC technology. But again, beyond that, I think um, the reason we're putting it into all these combination radios is because NFC is viewed as a complementary technology to Wi-Fi or to Bluetooth because you can use NFC as a secure out-of-band authentication channel to pair the other radios that we're putting into these chips. We've seen applications like shelf talking, shelf labels, where I can tap and I might say I'm allergic to peanuts, are there peanuts in this product? It might warn me that I should not buy this product. So lots of things that add more value and convenience to the, uh, to the consumer experience in the day-to-day -day environment. So you've got the NXP Cafe, um, which is quite cool with the, the ordering, the on-site ordering. There have been various other ones you can order at the table, um, that sort of thing. We actually did a story on the XP bike um, that was at cart last year. Um, that's excellent. From a technology perspective, I think most of the challenges have been solved. There's still a little bit of issues with consumers accepting the security. You know, when they talk about putting their credit cards, debit cards inside a mobile phone, the initial reaction is always, oh my God, why would I do that? It's not so secure. But if you think about it, if you drop your physical wallet, your leather wallet, if you were to drop it here near the stand somewhere, it would be gone very, very quickly and you would lose all your cash, all your cards, all your identity would be gone in seconds. Well, one of the advantages of having it all in one place on a mobile device is it can be wiped down remotely. So I can call one phone number, have my phone wiped out remotely. I can go back to my carrier. I'm on a buy a similar phone. Please restore all my wallet the way it was. Today I may have to call four or five different banks, deal with the driver's license authority, go to several places to kind of get all this replaced. So there's a possibility for this to be a, a bit more convenient in the element of, uh, of theft or loss. Security is a big concern. A lot of things have been done on top of the encryption codes to make them really secure. So these are secure pieces of silicon that are tamper resistant, that have high levels of cryptographic processing power, and are allowed to uh, store credentials in a, in a very tamper resistant and secure manner. SIM card actually meets international standards which have been proven to be meeting bank grade security. So the same chip and pin technology that you have in smart cards, that same technology is embodied in SIM cards. So yes, so the SIM card can also meet bank grade security. There are two remaining challenges, I would say. One is the point of acceptance, the point of sales. Those uh, point of sales terminals need to be upgraded to be NFC compatible. Another one is actually consumer awareness. 
not many people know that they have a contactless plastic card in their pocket. If, you're, if you've got a contactless card, a mobile phone is basically that contactless card inside the, the mobile phone, in the NFC phone. Chicken and eggs is a term that's been thrown around a lot. And uh, whether you need the handsets first, the POS, uh, the services from the banks or the operators. So there are varying factors that needed to come together and they probably haven't come together as they should have yet. But it's all working in the, in the right direction, I think. So. You've got to essentially get it where it's accepted universally. It grows to about 200 million devices will ship out with NFC from a handset perspective this year. And I think that ramps up in 2013. Beyond that, essentially, it all depends on consumers getting acceptance. So from a technology perspective, I think this year and next year start to continue with the trials and getting this mass market back behind it. And I think, and I'm hopeful that the industry can make it all work together. And in 2015, we probably see a vast majority of the handsets that will support NFC. Definitely in the smartphones, it, it's going to be almost a must-have feature by 2015.